Hi, Joe Finn with Gramophone here at Cedia 2024. We're at the SVS booth with my friend Nick Brown. Nick? Joe, good pleasure to see you. Man. you. Great. You feeling good? Oh, man, we are so energized to be in Denver. Like, we could not be having more fun. Well, and I know you would be energized even if you didn't have some surprises, but you had kind of hinted that you might have something. So maybe you can tell us what's new here at Cedia 2024. You know what, Joe? We just had a phenomenal event with you showing off our new SVS Ultra Evolution speakers, and I know yes. we talked about those. Uh, but we are completely reimagining the next wave of SVS subwoofers. And CD is the first opportunity anybody has ever had to see our new 17 Ultra Revolution subwoofers. We are pushing the envelope in every single way in terms of subwoofer design with this new model. Okay, so first off, it looks like a new driver. Absolutely, so this is our most capable subwoofer both in terms of output and low frequency extension. And a big part of that is this driver. It is a 17 inch driver. It's got a dual voice coil design. So we essentially have dual, dual voice coils uh, with a 55 pound quad toroidal ferret magnet motor in here. And that's being powered by dual monoblock amplifiers. So we essentially have four amplifiers bridged into dual monos, and then those monoblock amplifiers send discrete signals to the two voice coils. And essentially, this is a lot of jargon, but what it allows us to do is bring a level of performance in terms of output, but also refinement, controlling that driver. A 17-inch driver is not an easy thing to maintain precise control of, but this dual voice coil design an eight inch voice coil, I should add, wow. uh, really allows us to have that level of refinement, that transient speed, the accuracy, uh, as well as just that sheer visceral output. So let's see if I've got this straight. It's a 55, 55 pound magnet structure, dual voice coils. It's an eight inch voice coil. And are these two of the same sledge amplifiers that you had before, but now strapped into mono? No, these are completely new design, okay. specifically created for these new 17 ultra subwoofers. And uh, one of the other cool factors about the uh, amplifier is it has a 295 megahertz analog devices DSP. This is the smartest subwoofer I believe that's even ever been presented on the consumer market. It allows us to, again, have all these complex calculations going on to manage the heat dissipation, to manage the uh, accuracy of the subwoofer, the voltage, uh, there's power factor correction. One of the big, big issues when you get a subwoofer of this size is being able to have that output from a normal 15 amp consumer home circuit. Correct. This actually regulates the power so it always has enough in supply to be able to maintain peak performance without tripping the breaker, without having your lights flicker, without affecting the performance of other components. And that's really a, a matter of the brains from that DSP. So really what the, a part of what the DSP is doing outside of keeping the driver under control and dissipating heat and so forth is managing the power coming in so that you've always got good output no matter what the circumstances are. You nailed it, Joe. That's exactly right. But that's not all. <laughs> okay, the, what else? The, the uh, analog devices DSP has also allowed us, and this was a big ask. I know a lot of uh, SVS uh, subwoofer owners were adding three more bands of parametric EQ to the app. So now wow. you'll be able to do even more precise tuning. And then about a month or so after the subwoofers launch, we're gonna have a new auto EQ feature on the subwoofers as well. So whether you use your cell phone microphone or an external microphone connected to it, you'll be able to get that auto EQ going uh, with our subwoofers as well, which I know has been something that people have been asking for. So really a level of sophistication in terms of the usability that also complements that sheer performance. So what you're saying is that this subwoofer is new in every way, the construction of it, the driver, voice coil, how you're doing the amplification is all new. The, the management of the whole thing with the 295 chip, is th that's all new. And you're gonna have six point EQ that will be automatically done. So here's my next question. It's hard to be firing so much at you all in one go. But if you EQ it, will you be able to then fine tune a little bit to taste? Absolutely, that's one of the big benefits of having the uh, audio EQ is you can use the app to then get it fine tuned. You can have custom presets. So if you wanna have it a little bit over the top for your cinematic movie experiences, right. but maybe dial down a little bit when you're listening to uh, your Tchaikovsky uh, classical music, you're able to do that as well. And I have to compliment you on your memory. That was a lot to retain there that I threw at you. Uh, well, but I'm a subwoofer guy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, just like we did with our Ultra Evolution speakers, we wanted to take a completely fresh approach. There's nothing that we really took from the 17 Ultras, um, you know, to, to, re to create this subwoofer. We wanted to start fresh, and uh, it's gonna be something that I think will really impress a lot of people. So really, in the same way that with Ultra Evo, you reimagined what you were doing with the towers, because that's not just an upgrade of the previous 
Ultra Series, it's a whole new thing. You nailed it. Uh, yeah, and so now is there just one model or two that you're showing? So we're showing the ported model here, but we'll also have a sealed cabinet SP17 Ultra Revolution. Uh, so for folks who want a little bit more musicality, uh, quicker transient response, you'll have that. But this will also have the uh, ability to do port tuning as well. So you can get extended mode, sealed mode, or uh, run it in its normal mode if you want to trade off low frequency extension for some of that better musicality. So uh, there'll be some uh, flexibility in terms of what you want to do with the subs. That's awesome. Well, you know, Nick, over the past year, because we came out on board just a little over a year ago. We've had a lot of fun selling SVS, but we were selling older generations of product, and now it's like a tidal wave. You guys are coming with all this new technology, so my guess is the next year of Gramophone and SVS is going to be a ton of fun. So keep up the good work back at the back at the ranch, back at the uh, research lab, and so forth. Thank you, Nick, for spending time with us. Thank you for watching this video about all the new things that SVS is bringing at Cedia 2024 Denver.